Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Brittany and I upload lots and lots of new makeup content every single week. So if you need new makeup content in your life, if you just want to hang out, have a good time, talk about some makeup, please subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate it so, so much. And to those of you who are returning viewers, thank you. You are the best. We have got a great great video. I'm so excited to film it. So if you like ranking videos, if you like Pat McGrath Labs, then just keep watching. So today was the ColourPop in collaboration with Winnie the Pooh. Oh my god, I got everything. I'm so freaking excited. And today, Jacqueline Hill, her video is going to go up discussing her new collaboration with her mom. How exciting is that? And the new Lunar Beauty collection is about to be delivered. So I'm just like on cloud nine. I'm so excited. So, so many new good makeup launches happening. But we're just going to jump into the video. I have got 10 Pat McGrath uh, eyeshadow palettes I'm going to be ranking. This was not easy. It's like my collection went from nothing to 10 palettes. Like, it's insane. So we are just going to start from the bottom and then work our way up to the top. But if you know Pat McGrath... All these, all these palettes are really good, like, quality. It's just for, like, certain reasons, like, color story, like, which ones I reach for more. That's going to determine, like, where it falls. But just letting you know, all these palettes are super, super good quality. I feel like I'm going to be covered in swatches by the end of this video. So, coming in at number 10 is the... I call it the green palette. This is the, what are you called? The Sublime palette. Look at this packaging. Oh, it's so, so pretty. So a ton of my eyeshadow palette like boxes came in broke. It is what it is. I got all these palettes on sale. Um, like all the motherships except for Utopian Dream. I got all of them on sale during the like epic glitch. <laughs> but um, you know, it is what it is. But I will say for the price, I feel like the packaging shouldn't be broke because like you know she's not she's a, a very pretty penny but anyways like we'll move past the packaging but almost every single one of my boxes are broke but look how pretty this palette is now this is coming in at number 10 just because it like it's really good quality but it doesn't excite me like the other ones do now this green is gorgeous and layered like with the gold i love these neutral tones it's absolutely stunning palette like let me just show you this green look at that quality I love 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 this palette it's just coming in at the bottom because I don't reach for it as much as the others I'm gonna swatch some of these blitz astrials on my um, arm so you can see just how glittery and beautiful they are it's just like mind-blowing like oh they're so pretty Okay, so coming in at number nine, a lot of you are going to be like, what? <laughs> okay, just hear me out. This is the Pat McGrath Labs and Bridgerton collection. Uh, this was like round one. The palette's beautiful. The color story's beautiful. I just don't reach for it as much as I thought I would compared to these palettes. Like, believe me, like, I love this palette so much, especially the shimmer right here. Like, it's like butter. Just, it's gorgeous i mean i don't know there's just something about this palette all these palettes this one there in my collection they're absolutely beautiful but this color story like one i don't really reach for like blues and it's just a little heavy on the pink for me but when i do want a pretty pink mauvey look i always go to this palette especially for that pop of blue it's stunning it's really good quality i just don't reach for it as much as these others Okay, so coming in at number 8 is, like, the infamous Subversive palette. Like, everyone loves this palette. It's iconic. It's so unique and special. Um, it's just, like, the color story is a little bit out there for me. But, like, let me just tell you. If you want a fun Pat McGrath palette, like, honey, this one is... That will give it to you. This, like, yellow, gold, green right here. Oh, wow. It's a statement. Every time I wear this palette and I wear this shade, I get so many compliments. Um, let me just swatch a few on my arm. Oh, we almost dropped her. It's okay. We didn't drop her. Okay. I'm just going to swatch. Like, look how beautiful these are. I love it. It's so unique to my collection. Every time I wear this, I get a very bold, fun look. That's why it's coming in at number eight. But the quality is exceptional. And I'm so, so glad I got it in my collection. 
Okay, so coming in at number seven is her very first mothership. This is the Subliminal palette, and I love cool tones. I have pretty fair skin, and I think cool tones look so flattering on me, and this palette, like, it doesn't look like much, but it is so beautiful in person. Now, I'm not like a blue girl, but this blue is stunning. Okay, so I normally, like, I don't ever just go into this blue. What I do, I layer it. So, I use this as like a base. Let me build this up so you can see it on my arm. So, that's the blue swatched. And then I will take some of these special shades down here and layer it on the blue oh my word it is literally perfection if you have brown eyes this palette would like be like your dream palette um but yeah just like layered it just it gives like such a like a beautiful effect it's stunning um it's like a lot like my natasha denona glam palette but it just has like a fun pop of blue and i love this like really pretty vanilla shade it's so unique to my collection, but I reach for this a lot, believe it or not. Now, these dark shades, like, they're so pigmented, so you have to go in very lightly. But this palette, it's just beautiful, and I love the blue. And, like, these Astral Blitz, they kind of lean blue, like, with some, like, blue sparkles. They're so beautiful. I didn't think I would reach for it that much, but honestly, this is, like, one of my go-to palettes now because I can just throw like a simple brown in the crease and then pop one of these glitters on top and it just like looks like I spent forever on my makeup when in reality I spent like two minutes on it. For me this palette is just like such a staple because these mattes are so buttery and just like that perfect everyday color for me that I throw on my crease. It's such a good palette. I'm so so glad I ended up picking this up. So coming in at number six is I think my newest one in my collection. This is the round two collaboration with Bridgerton. Now this palette would be like number one, but is you're just so limited with these like mattes. I just need more. So, but this quality is like top tier perfection. It is so good, and I really love this greeny gold and this blue, this highlighting shade, and this astral blitz like. All of these are so unique and special. I've got two videos up on my channel with this. I've got Instagram Reels with every single one of these palettes, I believe, except for the quad. But I'm telling you, this quality is so, so good. I just wish she would have picked different mattes because I'm not too, like, fond of pinks because they can make me look a little sickly. But still, the formula is so good. And I just, I love this palette. Every time I look at it, I smile. It's amazing. And, like, Bridgerton is such a very bright show and colorful. I think that these shimmers just, I don't know, it screams Bridgerton to me. Okay, now we are in the top five. And number five is the Divine Rose 1. And, honestly, this palette is only coming in at number five because of the color story. If not, I would rank it at the very bottom. Because, in my opinion, this formula is not as good as the other ones that I've talked about. This is more for, like, your everyday neutral girl. But the main thing about this palette, it's not as rich and buttery and shiny as her other shades. But, don't get me wrong, this quality is still good. It just, it doesn't compare to some of the other formulas I've seen from her but like this Astral Blitz I, I'm wearing this palette today and I just put this on top of every look to give it that like pretty shine but like all these shades are just very like here but you're paying for a price up here so the like the mattes are very buttery and blendable it's just the shimmers for the price point I expect more so but regardless it's still stunning but it is coming in at number five because the color story it speaks to me I'm a neutral girl, but just know that, in my opinion, this quality does not compete with the others in today's video. Coming in at number four is this quad in Venus and Fleur's Luxe Quad Voyeuristic Vincent. I know I butchered that, okay, but you can't blame a girl for trying. This quad is beautiful. It's spectacular. Honestly, this is what started it all. This is my first palette from Pat McGrath. And I was influenced to buy this. Let's see, Patty Alonzo was talking about it. She was raving about it. 
and she cried and I had to get it and I'm so glad I did look how like dimensional and shifty that shade is it's so beautiful it's a little chunky but just put a glitter glue down and you'll be in love but like look how stunning they are they're so beautiful I took this on vacation and I used it and I just have like the sweetest memories if I ever need a very fast but yet like like a look that's just gonna make jaws drop I'm gonna wear this because every time I wear it I get compliments and I mean it's just stunning like I can't help it it's beautiful this quality is like amazing so I had to have it and I'm so excited I, I picked it up because this is like literally what started my Pat McGrath addiction Okay, so coming in at number three is this one. This is a Celestial Odyssey. This was her holiday release last year. And this is like the best bang for your buck. Oh, look at those shades. I gotta get rid of this candle. I'm gonna die. I'm so sick and I gotta blow that out. But yeah, this green is just so stunning. Let me, I have like no room left. The green in this palette, this is what made me fall in love with color. Like I would never wear color until I tried this and then I was like in love like this shade it's just so stunning this made me fall in love with greens I mean look at that it's absolutely stunning it just took my breath away and I was like uh yeah please give me all the greens in the world now um but yeah this palette it's just like I said it's the best thing for your buck if you do not own any Pat McGrath palettes and you want to try her formula, I say go for this one because you get like these beautiful rose gold shades and you get some mattes to like tie on the look. You get a champagne. Honestly, this is like my go-to Pat McGrath palette because it's just like one and done. You grab it and you can get whatever color you need. Okay, so now we are in the top two and I went back and forth, back and forth because I love these palettes so much. Let me just say it was very hard, but coming in in number two is the Utopian Dream. This palette is so special and stunning i mean look how beautiful this palette is guys these two shades down here are like unmatched like they're pretty much glitters but they are so beautiful i love them to death i can put this with any look and it takes a look from here to there i mean it's just like everyone will go what is on your eyes here are those two shades swatched on my finger they are just beautiful they made me fall in love with this palette and this duo chrome down here, it's pink and green. You see in the pan how it's green. And right here, it's pink. This is the, like the softest shade ever. I mean, it's just like literal butter. It's amazing. The quality, I just can't get over it. So let me just like swatch it right here because I'm running out of room. Mm, it's just like top tier. Uh, man, this formula is so good. And the mattes are so blendable. You get three and you get a highlighter shade. I love this pink down here for just like an everyday look. Top it with the gold and you are good to go for some glam. This palette just like, it mesmerizes me. This was my very first mothership, so it's like always super special because I wanted a mothership for years and years, as long as I could remember, but I could never afford it. And, I, you know, finally I got a sale and my husband was like, go for it. I know you've been wanting this palette for so long. And so this palette is just so special because it's like Pat McGrath was always like an idea. Like I knew she existed. I knew her quality was amazing, but I could never have it. And so when I finally got this palette, it's just so special to me. The number one palette. <laughs> I did not see this coming because it's newer to my collection. And it's the... So number one, I don't know if you've guessed it yet, but this is the Bronze Seduction palette. How beautiful is this packaging it's stunning oh i can't get enough of it i just like through it <laughs> okay and this is what the palette looks like i mean look how stunning this palette is like this quality is so unique in my opinion i've got glitter everywhere at this point but let me just say these blitz astrials make this palette like boom it's so good but i'm just gonna swatch some so you can see how special they are now, you can't really tell how special they are until you put it on your eyes, but like, they are, see, it's just not doing it justice, man. You just really got to see it in person on your eyes, and you'll just be like, whoa. 
I'm just going to put a little bit on so you can see what I'm talking about. So I'll put the rose gold and you'll just see, like I don't have a glitter glue so we're probably going to have like fallout galore, but that's okay. Okay, so you can just see how much that elevated my eye look, just like layering on a few of those shades. I almost didn't even pick up this palette because of the red. I was like, I don't like reds. I'm never going to wear it. And that red is like one of my favorite shades in the palette because I always put it on the lower lash line and it just like, it lures people in. It's like, girl, what's on your eyes? And the mattes in here are so like, they're very neutral and it looks like, oh, that's nothing special, but it really is. Like this plum, this neutral brown, and this dark, rich brown. Look how pigmented they are. But the good thing about these mattes, you can go in with a light hand and you could just get a very soft, subtle look in your crease. Or you could build them up and just get like an intense matte. But yeah, they're just so beautiful. I'm covered in swatches, but like I love it. It looks like I just love Sephora. So if you're like a neutral girl, but you like elevated neutrals, you need a good summer like bronzy palette mm, and you are on a Pat McGrath budget, girl, this palette is so good. I recommend it 100% if you can get it on sale. I've never paid full price for any Pat McGrath palettes. I've always got them on sale. Um, she always does 30% off and then you can stack your 10% off if you make an account. Like I think it's a welcome 10 and you can stack it so you get it 40% off. Or, hey, if she ever has another glitch, snag them up while you can. And every time she does a new launch, you can always use, um, like, for instance, like Bridgerton 10. And then you could stack codes on top of that. And you could always get them on sale. So, in my opinion, don't ever pay full price for one of her palettes. Look for some codes, girl, because you can need to save that money. It just, like, it's so crazy that I'm sitting here ranking Pat McGrath palettes because, like, I never thought I would own one. I never thought I could own one. And I'm just so happy that I have all these beauties in my collection. You'll have to let me know what Pat McGrath Lab palettes do you have in your collection. Like, what's your favorite if you could only have one? Because that's a hearty. Like, let me just think. Um, if I could only have one. Let me think. Yeah, this one. Because you get everything. You just get everything. It's the best bang for your buck. If I could only keep one, I'm taking this one because it's got the most in it. And I could get so many looks, but it would be really hard to let go of, like, my top five. Or my top four, definitely. But, yeah, if I could only keep one, I'm keeping this one. So, let me know if you could only keep one, what are you keeping? You can't cheat. You can't say two. You can only keep one. What are you going to keep? Okay, guys, so that wraps up for me in today's video. I am so glad to be back filming. Sorry for my voice. Like, it still sounds like, ugh, I hate editing when I'm sick because I hate listening to it. So, sorry about my voice. Um, we're just going to have to roll with it until I get better. I hope you enjoyed this video. I, it's just crazy. Like, I'm surrounded by all these Pat McGrath palettes. Like, it just, my heart's so happy. <laughs> Let me know what are some makeup. There's been so many new makeup releases. What do you want me to review? What are you interested in? Because I've got some goodies that I want to get. But I also want to know what are y'all interested in. Uh, please follow me on Instagram. That is where I can communicate with you. Because, um, like, if I know if you're here, like, you watch my videos, you interact with me, please go follow me on Instagram and please let me know what do you want to see from me. I love rankings videos. What do you want me to review? There's so many new makeup releases. I'm just like, ah, oh, like, what do you want to see? You need to help me out. Wherever you are in the world, I hope that you're doing well. I hope that you're healthy, happy, and safe. Stay beautiful. Bye, guys.